All right, guys, it's uh, February 10th. Uh, this is another Pete Santilli listener. Uh, this is Legion Cult, uh, and he wanted to talk to you guys. Hello? All right, are we clear? <laughs> yeah, um, I am recording this. You know, I, uh, I introduced you. Um, and just so everyone knows, this is for Pete and Deb, and uh, also it is for... Uh, there is still four people out there, and uh, there is still people incarcerated, so I'm going to let Legion Cult talk, and uh, go ahead, sir. First thing I want to say is, Pete and Deb, thank you so much for your work. You guys are amazing heroes. You get going out there, catching everything, putting your stills right on the line. I want to tell you how much I love you and appreciate you. Um, I also want to say to David Fry that my heart's with you. I've been thinking about you. Praying for you so that yeah we don't have a another Waco, Texas. You know I hope everyone thinks about those kids out there that are stuck out there and that you know may have been left out there. What well, how you feel if you were out there and how you behave or act? It's a miracle we're able to get any images out of there. So I want everyone to think about that. That we're in a time in our life that we could see another Waco, Texas happen. And I really hope that the left wing doesn't have to have blood on the ground to realize that their public lands are being sold to, to companies to harvest the minerals and leave the taxpayer with the mess. I also hope that everyone that's been prepping and has been, you know, wanting a time to, to act and, and to be called to arms or to be called to, to action, this is the time. We've had too many great American heroes die and not too much change. I think that's what I have to say right now. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, that, that was great. Um, is there anything at all or uh, um, any ideas or comments? Um, I actually had a couple callers call in and... Uh, they one of them brought up a great point about mailing when we go to mail uh, these letters to uh, Amen or Ammon. I need to correct that actually because it's it's Ammon, not Amen. I actually did get corrected by one of the family members. J just for the record, you guys, it is Ammon Bundy, not Amen Bundy. Um, but when we write the letters to them, uh, the guards will read it. That is correct. That is absolutely correct. Their, their mail, there is no privacy of the mail, and definitely not the prison system. And we need to be writing letters to, to, to everyone that's in there, and thanks for putting up the address in your comment box with everyone's name and number, how we can reach them, because, you know, when you're in jail, there's nothing more important than knowing that people are, are actually thinking about you. Yeah, and that's the message. Projects are sold to, you know, hunting, hunting rights, and, you know, but they're, they're sold, some are sold to mineral rights, and that, you know, it's a high possibility one day there might be an oil drill in the bottom of the Grand Canyon or somewhere at some national park that you like to visit. There might be an oil rig. Right, right. Um, actually, back up just a little bit because I think that cut out. Who, who was it again now that, um, that you were talking about uh, in Utah? What was his name? It, it, it was Spill Pot. The last name is Phil Pot, and I think he might be running again. Um, but if you type in Utah, you know, Utah Phil Pot, his name should come up. I, I, don't, I don't actually have internet in my, in where I'm at right now, so I can't pull it up. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Um, so is, is there anything else that you wanted to say, and then this is for anybody out there, um, I, what I'm starting to realize is a lot of people, I, I guess everyone's using the term waking up. Um, is there any advice that you want to give to somebody that's trying to wake a friend up or, or anything like that or anything you want to say? I think this is it. I think looking into the Burns, Oregon situation, I know that there was an article today that says, you know, as long, it, it says that this occupation is going longer and getting weirder. This is, this is, this is it. If people start looking at this situation and, and especially, not to mention the Lavoie being murdered, people start looking at that. You know, this is a this is a new 9/11. You know, and and my and I and I, this is this this is this is pivotal. I, I 
we were at the end of the road, and if people start seeing that these lands are being sold off to foreign entities or companies, like the XL pipeline is for Canadian profits. You know, people start to realize that, you know, we need to, that these lands are not being protected. They're being protected to be sold off. And I think this might be where people start to wake up and realize what's going on. But, you know, I, I'm still shocked that people haven't woke up and realized, you know, the shenanigans of the IRS. And I don't think you need to look much further than the IRS to realize that we're being farmed as, as human beings in this country. Well, I've said that about banks. You know, I've always asked people, hey, go to your... Uh... Go to your bank and see if there's enough money in there to cash out everyone that has an account there. Yep. So. Yeah, seriously. But uh, yeah, is there is there anything else? Do you want to give out? Uh, and this is up to you if you want to give out contact information. Um, that is completely up to you or where they can find you if you are doing YouTube videos or anything that that you're doing of where you want people to contact you at. No, I want I want people to support Pete Santilli. I want people to support the. Um, David Fry out there. I don't like people talking bad about David Fry because, you know, he's doing something that the rest of us aren't doing. And, uh, you know, I want I want everyone out there to realize how important they are. Professor Doom, you're super important. You're important, and we all need to stand together to fight this tyranny. That's all I've got. All right, cool. Uh, that was uh, Legion Cult. Um, and, guys... Like he was saying, help Pete and Deb out. Go to the PeteSantilliShow.com forward slash donate. If you do want to do an interview, just e email me at Dallas, D-A-L-L-A-S, A-Club, A-C-L-U-B, at Hotmail.com. And we'll get these uploaded as soon as possible on Pete Station. This is all in support for him and for Deb. And I will keep these going as uh, as much as I keep getting these emails. Um it's it's been actually really great. I, I got to be honest. It's it's really been uh, empowering me a lot to to get the word out. So, till then, guys. <laughs>